hello and welcome to my channel again you know we're passing a tough situation right now the world is suffering for the COVID-19 virus and okay that's good stay home and stay safe and keep yourself and your family safe so today I'm gonna show you a Chinese knockoff Sony Walkman it's called Sony Walkman I thought it is but um, when I uh, when I did some research about that I found out that it is not it is not a original Sony Walkman okay I have opened it though uh, underneath here you can see the model is DE805 and if you search in Google then you will see this is not this this is not the CD player okay compact display programmable compact display said so uh, there is a level in here you can see that is made in Japan it is not made in Japan maybe it is made in Japan I don't know but it is not a Sony product of course I'm hundred percent sure that it is not a Sony product okay so when I found this uh, I thought it's maybe it's okay uh, I was uh, thinking about this strain here where it is comes from so I took it apart here you can see uh, it is corroded like a, you can see the metal is being corroded like that so uh, then I opened the thing uh, the, this uh, CD player and you can see so much discoloration here okay original color was the silver the silver color was the original color so I took it apart like that and I eventually break it like here you can see I broke it <clears throat> next I found that this motor shaft was broken too okay look here is uh, someone applied some glue here so um, the motor was perfectly okay it was smooth and uh, swift and the laser was so um, in decent shape the fragile ribbon like thing it's also good but it is uh, somewhat corroded like that and it is also so what made this thing broke apart or uh, it was in good shape what made this so disgusting okay look at this components here <coughs> You can see here it is it is shiny PCB all these connectors I cleaned it up it was not like that I cleaned at as much as I can look on the underside here look it's green see but look here sorry for the camera it is shaking look here the all is paint green paint is just uh, getting out of this PCB and here I done some nasty 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 soldering work and uh, don't blame me okay you can see now better some nasty soldering work this all solder joints were um, uh, what can I say dried out okay look here okay so I took uh, some component from here and I also refurbished this uh, what can I say uh, inductor okay you can see some coil here so it's an inductor and it has a three connector so I took part this two connector this two one is for charging and one is for extra battery okay I got this extra battery pack with this device okay uh, you can you know uh, carry some extra battery extra a size battery uh, with this small box right there okay. 
and I also got this as it has no monitor or um, uh, display to show you the situation or the track plane so it is the uh, thing you can plug it in uh, okay in this particular point like that it is a proprietary connector like that okay so so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna reassemble it without this of course and keep it as a souvenir because it is not uh, fixable of course you cannot fix this thing anymore okay so it is so much rust and um, the metal joints are broken like uh, you can see this person just broken so what made it this what made this nice shiny CD player corrode it this much um, what uh, information I have got when I got this player the information I got, it is a uh, uh, it was a uh, left like this about 10 years or more so it caused by this batteries So it is rechargeable. It is rechargeable. You can see. Uh, okay, let me focus it. Hmm. It is a rechargeable nickel metal hydride battery. It is not your lithium ion battery. It is nickel metal hydride battery. So you can see here NIM8. Okay. So it is a 1.2 volt and 1100 milliamp hour and 1100 so two of this battery two of this battery left in this CD player it's pretty heavy okay. it's heavy enough and uh, you can see this is the situation This was uh, in and here, like that. Sorry, like so. As you can see. So it eventually came out when I was cleaning this uh, little thing. So I'm gonna reassemble it in front of you. So just enjoy. So first of all, this is infrared sensor. Okay, I forgot to show you. This is the remote control. Which it came, so uh, it made me believe that it is not a, a Japanese product because there is a silver something silver point in Japan. Uh, so it is not a Sony product. Okay, I broke this hinge of this metal piece here. So it's like here. Okay. This is just uh, we need some glue here that that will solve the problem. So first of all, we have to see the infrared sensor. Yeah. Okay. Now. Okay, perfect. Next, we have to get this thing here. side so 
so it is some tricky and this ribbon is pretty much old so I won't take a chance to put it back like that just I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it like this okay I'm gonna just keep it like that and uh, keep the push the razor that also to the top like that I'm not gonna uh, put any strain on this uh, ribbon I'm not gonna connect to it. So just put this thing in here. There is a plastic prong there. I broke this part. Okay. Here is the battery compartment. You can see here is the correction bit. little bit tall like so mm, maybe it will solve the problem okay. yeah no it is not solving the problem so I'm gonna test it out okay like so okay now it's okay solved most of the problem So, uh, we learned that battery is not, um, not, you should not keep battery inside your devices when not using it. So, always remove the battery from your device and then keep it. And, and that way your instrument will be all good for the years 10, 20 or something else like that. So, always remember to put it out. Okay. So, All same size Phillips head screw. If it was original Sony, then I will put. Uh, I maybe I would put my full effort to make it alive again, but it is not the original product. So, I'm not going to put any um, this is bigger than this, so maybe I should put in this thing here, smaller so.
now that is two holes number two so one this one I don't know where this screw goes. Then I will fix it later. No problem. I'll fix it. Um, I don't want to waste your time. Anymore. So I forgot to um, uh, get out this screw uh, for the first time, and I eventually broke this thing. to give you some update of my next project I showed you uh, before this particular phone it's a very unique phone from Nokia it is an E71 it is working perfectly I restored it this particular phone it's a Motorola W156 I restored it I'm gonna restore this particular phone I'm gonna make review with this phone and I'm gonna have a disassemble it and show what uh, I will see and I will also show you what's inside so thanks again for watching and please subscribe to my channel and it's free and it will inspire me to make some more video for you Thank you and stay with me. I will see you next time.